Let's talk about something sweet today, sugar. We all know kids love it, but did you know that too much sugar can have a big impact on their eating habits and overall health? Sugar is a major cause of cavities and tooth decay in children. When kids consume sugary foods and drinks, the bacteria in their mouths produce acid, which wears down tooth enamel and leads to dental problems. Kids may fill up on sugary treats, leaving less room for nutrient-rich foods like fruits, vegetables or whole grains. This can lead to a lack of essential vitamins and minerals. Also, excess sugar can impair the immune system's ability to fight off infections, making children more susceptible to illnesses like colds and flu. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Ananta. I'm Dr. Shreya Dubey, a pediatrician on a mission to help every kid reach their highest potential. Here you will find a treasure trove of tips and tricks on everything from keeping your kids healthy and happy to helping them grow and thrive. Each week we will dive into exciting topics about child health, growth, development, behavior, parenting tips and a lot more. So hit that like button, share with fellow parents and subscribe for a weekly dose of fun and inspiration. Let's raise our kids the happy So what can we do to reduce their consumption of sugar? First, let's talk about why sugar is so sneaky. It's not just in the candy and cookies, it's hiding in places you might not expect like sauces, cereals, yogurts and even some healthy snacks. The problem is kids get hooked on the sweetness and that can shape their taste buds to prefer sugary foods over healthier options. According to the American Heart Association, children should consume no more than 25 grams that is about 6 teaspoons of added sugar per day. But the average child consumes around 3 times that amount. Excess sugar can lead to a higher risk of obesity, heart disease, diabetes and poor eating habits as they grow. Sugar doesn't just affect weight, it messes with the kids appetites. When kids eat sugary foods, it causes a spike in blood sugar levels which gives them that sugar high. But after the high comes the crash, leaving them tired, cranky and hungry for more sugary foods. Studies show that high sugar intake in children leads to poor appetite control. This also makes it harder for children to focus and regulate their emotions. The sugar rush and crash cycle makes it harder for kids to listen to their natural hunger cues which can result in overeating or craving more sugary snacks. I worked with a little boy who was always hungry right after school. His parents would give him a sugary snack thinking it would hold him over until dinner. But within an hour, he'd be hungry again and by dinner time, he had no appetite for real food. Once they switched to a balanced snack with protein and fiber, he stayed fuller longer and ate better at dinner. Replace sugary snacks with healthier options like fruit paired with nuts or cheese. This helps keep blood sugar stable and prevents those constant hunger pangs. The more sugar kids eat, the more they crave it. Their taste buds get used to the sweetness and suddenly healthy foods like fruits and vegetables don't taste as appealing. It's like their palate gets dulled by sugar. A study from the journal Appetite found that children who consumed high amounts of sugar were more likely to reject fruits and vegetables because they didn't taste sweet enough. Kids who ate less sugar developed a preference for the natural sweetness of whole foods. You can try a taste bud reset challenge with your kids. For one week, cut out sugary snacks and replace them with whole foods. By the end of the week, their taste buds will start to enjoy the natural sweetness of fruits and vegetables more. We have just discussed about the sugar high, kids bouncing off the walls after eating sugary treats. But what goes up must come down and that sugar crash can lead to irritability, poor focus and fatigue. This can affect their mood and even their ability to focus at school. Research published in The Lancet found that children who consumed high amounts of sugar were more likely to experience behavioral issues including hyperactivity and difficulty in concentrating. Stable blood sugar levels are key to helping kids stay focused and calm throughout the day. So encourage water or milk instead of sugary drinks, especially during school or homework time. This helps kids stay hydrated and focused without the sugar crash. So how do we reduce sugar intake without making it feel like a punishment? The key is to make it fun and involve your kids in the process. Let's discuss some creative ways to cut down on sugar while still keeping meals and snacks exciting. First is fruit first. Use fruit to satisfy their sweet tooth. 
instead of reaching for candy, offer naturally sweet fruits like berries, oranges or apples. You can even freeze grapes or make fruit popsicles for a fun twist. Get your kids involved in making rainbow fruit salads. Let them pick out their favorite fruits and arrange them in fun shapes or patterns. Instead of buying sugar-packed cookies and candies, if possible, try making your own at home with healthy ingredients. If your kids love sugary drinks, try making flavored water with slices of fruit like lemon, strawberries or cucumber. It's fun, hydrating and gives water a natural sweetness. When purchasing a food item, read the label. If it contains too much sugar, try to find an alternative. To wrap things up, sugar is one of those things that sneaks into our kids' diets without us even realizing it. But by understanding its impact on their eating habits, behavior and overall health, we can make small simple changes that have a big effect. The good news is that reducing sugar doesn't have to be hard or boring. It can be fun, creative and interactive. Whether it's trying a taste bud reset, making DIY snacks or swapping sugary drinks for fun water infusions, there are plenty of ways to help our kids develop healthier eating habits without all the added sugar. I hope this has answered some of your questions and you like today's information. We'll be back next week with another topic. Please let us know in the comments below what you would like me to talk about in the upcoming videos. If you like this information, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Take care.